I am who I am, but who am I and who are you? My name is So Severe. You're watching Expression UG, and I am a rapper, spoken word artist. Hello, So Severe. Hey, hi. How are you doing? I am very well. Very okay, well. so uh -huh. could you give us a brief introduction about yourself? Brief? The briefest I can give is uh, uh, a music lover. I am a lion, a quiet favor, and I am you. If you tell me it's a lie, that there's a God, and I am proof. Um, music media personality. Uh, um, hosted TV shows and radio shows. I'm now uh, more into production of such uh, work as well. Now also into the angle that the other, I'm now approaching more corporate side of work. So what inspired you to do what you are doing? Well, the industry I'm in is, if I could sum it up in a way, it's just, it's mostly media. What drove me to, to do that, I think it comes from talking about what I'm passionate about. I was always going out there to look and find more music as much as I can. And I got to this point where I think I had like a, a large catalog of, of, of music and the people that make the music and the process that makes the music. I am everything and nothing in the same breath. The air that you call nothing till there's none left. I wanted to share music and wanted to know more music from the people that knew about music that I didn't know about. I remember this, this, this one vivid memory when I figured out what rhyming was. It seemed very simple to do and went on from there. The nurturing nature that's in your veins, a quintessential being, I'm perfect in how I am made. So, could you tell us some of the challenges facing the industry that you're in and some of the common stereotypes? I think it's a lack of patriotism. For Ugandans don't really appreciate the worth of what is Ugandan. You could spread it across the board from, from comedy to movies to plays to uh, music and to poetry and even in sports you'll find there's more more people that, that, that usually the bulk of the number that come to support uh, say presentation at the National Theatre you find it split between half uh, people from another nation or from other nations and then like the last half is, is Ugandan and I think that's one of the major challenges we don't believe in our in ourselves as much as we should. So, could you comment about the current situation on climate change in the country and the world at large? It's 4 p.m. right now. About 4 p.m. It feels like, like like 2 p.m. It's really hot. Yet it's supposed to be coming close at the sundown. Uh, here in Africa and in Uganda, it's very plain to see that there is very radical climate change going on. The seasons are coming in and out of um, what I would call season. Like we expect the two seasons to flow within a certain schedule. People from 10 years ago will tell you that it's different now. The rains take longer to come and when they do come, they come more than, than, than what was expected if uh, you were doing uh, on a daily about um, about 10 millimeters of rain and now it's going to come maybe 10 times that. Okay, um, what can artists do to inspire change vis-a-vis -vis climate change? All these are people that I think may make up not more than 1% of an entire population but have the attention of, at, of at, on the low end 95% of the same population. I think they should Firstly, equip themselves with the knowledge of how bad the situation is. One of the things we need to do, artists, put it in your work. Tell people. If you've got the attention of 10,000 people, use that to speak on something that can actually impact someone. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool, you can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram as well, at severely yours, pretty much anywhere, even Skype. Hey man, keep it real, keep it true, inspire the youth.